And like not even a year later, like six months, I want to say less than six months, I was getting te- I was getting texts left already- and right, left and right, be like, hey, Damn, time to pay, was time, to, time to pay, time to pay, and I'm like, yo, like I haven't even found a um, like, fam. I just graduated not even a year ago. Can I get back on my feet first? Exactly. I'm like, whoa, like I feel that. I'm like, I'm like yo, the on, IRS man. don't even come at me this hard. Like <laughs> you coming at me? Like my phone was blown up. I'm like J Cole barely just paid his student loans back. What makes you think I'm gonna pay mine back? Right. right away? What the fuck took him so long? Jesus Christ, he mm-hmm. makes a lot of money. But he probably had a shit ton of student loans. He probably just forgot and just said, you know what? I'm gonna, you know what? I'm fucking mad about. You can literally file bankruptcy for everything in this world except for student student loans. loans. Why is that? What the fuck? And then look, can can we have a thing where it's like, if I prove got a degree, if I if you got a degree, then you have the you have the tools to go get a job to pay back that loan. That's that's why. Right. And could could there be a thing where it's like you ask me what my job is and if my job has nothing to do with the degree yo you want to chill on the fact that you're fucking coming after my ass to pay up this loan because like no, i mean they don't care i mean care. i i know they don't care like i i get it they don't care and also i mean it's not all their fault it's all also it's also our fault it's also my fault that at the time being i was so young it's just like yeah 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 just accept the loan just accept the loans and like you know, this this whole notion that, like, we have to get a college degree. Like, our parents are, like, forcing it down our throats. And most of the parents aren't fucking paying for the kids. My parents just paid zero dollars for my tuition. You know, there's kids out there that, you know, luckily enough, their parents well, pay your parents for... parents t- couldn't. Don't, it's yeah, not that they couldn't. couldn't. Which so is fine. I'm, yeah, I, I, I know. I let's, let's make it clear. Let's make it seem, which is, make it no. seem like they're assholes or something. No, no, no. Yeah, they, they couldn't. Like, it'd be different if they had the money and they could. Right. I'm pretty sure they would. They, they couldn't. It, but here's another thing. They couldn't, right? And then l- good, good for students who their parents could. Yeah. But the thing is, my parents knew they couldn't pay for my fucking school. And then knew that I don't get enough financial aid to go to school for free, but yeah. yet still forced me to get a degree anyways. So how about well, I think you got to remember, like you said, you you didn't even you came over from Vietnam. So your parents aren't looking at it from from your aspect. They're looking at it. Well, I don't give a fuck if he's going to be in debt. Right. Him getting a degree, he's going to have a better opportunity. You Even if without a degree, I mean, even with a degree, you still in a sense, have somewhat of a better opportunity than someone who doesn't have a degree. So right. your parents are looking at it from that aspect. I know, whether but... Whether he's in debt or not, I know, he's still going to have a better opportunity to make make money to take, whether it's taking help and take care of them or taking care of your eventual family or whatever it may be. You're giving yourself that one up over the next person. I know, but... So my, I can see it. But my point here is that it doesn't matter where I'm from or not. It, it matters... This is my point. If you're the parent, right... And uh, the, uh, I can say this now, you know, uh, as a graduate with a fucking, uh, you know, with that, yeah. I can say this now as, as a parent, maybe like, you know, you have a kid, maybe, maybe you take that thought out of your head of like, um, um, using college and degrees as like a way to flex, you know, towards other parents or, you know, to be, you know, cause it, uh, nowadays a, a college going to college or going to certain college and having, you know, the USC's or it's kind of like a flex. It's like a, you know, it is, but like I mean, I'm, but I wait, hold on. So I think as the parents, it's like, if you know, you can't afford college for your kids and you know, your kids don't get enough financial aid or grants or whatever it is, maybe you should stop pushing that shit on the kids so much because at the end of the day is the kids is going to have to finish paying up that student loan. It's not the fucking parents. So That's like, true. That's true. Like maybe you take your greed and you take your little ego out of it, you know, and like not, you know, push that on the kids so much for your sake because you want a, a, a college graduate kid. You know, you want to be proud amongst other parents and all that. So now it's like all this like shit you're pushing on the kids is really like your inner ego, you know? Well, let me let me play. Let me um play devil's advocate because I mean, I get what you're saying. Some parents are like that. But not all parents that push their kids to go to school like that. You like, let's use a different example compared to how I use you as an example earlier. Like, right? You gotta think about it. Some kids, they some parents they have their kids young. Yeah. So their kid isn't able, or so they have to stop going to school and make that sacrifice for the kid. What? My on. parents happen with my parents. It's now, happened with a lot of parents. Now, 
now since you have a kid you want to say it in form of like how you would Shit, even with me i had yeah. to stop going when when i have my kid i mean i eventually do want to start going back to school like within right within the next year but i have to stop going to school i have to start taking care of my kid i have to right. start working more doing all that stuff right and then so, and then you you want to talk about how like you know you as a parent like down the line when your kids is at that point too so it's kind of like, yeah you know. yeah so i'm gonna get there don't worry so okay so basically so um you gotta think about it. so these parents are thinking like that like i had to sacrifice I, and this might sound a little selfish not in my situation but like just speaking how some parents maybe they have to feel like they have to sacrifice right. something in order to take care of their kid and maybe they don't want their kid to grow up and feel like they have to be working at Walmart their whole life. If they could go to school and get like an office job where they work a nine to five and they're making six figures a year, whatever it may be. Right. So maybe some parents are thinking like that, but if I'm using my own situation down the road, I mean, obviously I'm going to tell my child, yeah, you should go to school and get an education. Cause you always want to have a plan B to fall back on. But right. in this generation, we even see now you don't have to, like even we know we probably even know people ourselves that even if they have a degree or not they show they prove that you don't have to right go to school to actually make money and I'm not even I'm not talking about like illegally I'm talking about legally like there's whether it's through stocks or other venues like we know people right. that probably do shit and they make money legally and it's not from whatever they went to school for or right. they didn't go to school at all. So Or they might just have a job that's like completely different from their major. So it's like a waste of time that you even yeah. went to, you know, school yeah, even and not even pursue, you know, your major or whatever. Like exactly. for example, me, but my job kinda has to do with some with communication. Yeah, somewhat. So. But even like if they're entrepreneurs in a sense, like we know people who do stuff like that and right. and they make money and they even if they don't they might not be rich, but for our age they might live comfortably. Yeah. So and if you keep doing it, obviously you're gonna build your business more as an entrepreneur and make more money. But that's a different conversation. But you could do stuff. There's other ways you can make money outside of just getting education. But, so, but going no, to I wouldn't just force them. I would tell them to look at all options. I guess right. And taking, I think you know, uh, getting education is one thing. It's very important to get your education and be edu- uh, be yeah, educated and be, be still educated, uh, even if you don't finish. It right. And and know how to know know how to you know. You know, be more open minded, whatever it may be. Right. Be more cultured, experienced. Right. Not even just for the education. I still want my child to go to school just for the experience, being around different cultures. Right. All that other stuff. It makes you more open minded so you're not just closed off and prejudiced and racist or whatever you want to call it. Right. But another thing is like you have to, you know, you have to take an effect of like, you know, the financial aspect. So it's like maybe, maybe you really want your kid to go to USC, but you should probably talk your kid out and do the, the, the two year at a CC to save some money and then take the two year at the four year university and, see that, and take and that route. You know, like a lot of parents are just forced seeing their kids to go to the most expensive school. So that was the other point that I forgot that I meant to, to um, uh, off of what you were saying. My yeah, fault. That was the other point earlier that I forgot. That I meant to go off what you were saying earlier. Yeah. Basically, I get what you're saying. Sometimes parents do force it. And yeah, like you said, if they don't got the money, maybe they should they should be forcing their child to go to a community college instead of trying to force a four year down their throat. Because if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. But you can still right. get the same education at a two year doing right. GEs. Then when you transfer, get the same two years out of four year, you still can get the same education. Yeah.